defensive front. These three guys are good players. Here's Spate. Again, finds a seam and has a man, and Chesson able to make the grab down to the two-yard line. This is a beautifully thrown ball down the field, identifying man-to-man -man coverage. That ball is perfectly thrown to Chesson. Good sign for Michigan and Wilton Spade early. Gain of 35 on the play as well. Here's third and goal now. Spate looking, throwing, completing, touchdown. Michigan to Jake Butt, the senior tight end. All on the UCF end, receiving end, if you will. Wow. And so again, Michigan will take over in great field position. And right away off the, off the block there, they go down the field to Chesson. Get in business at the 25 of UCF. Here's Spate. Finds a wide open middle of the field. It's Chesson again who just sat down in that zone. Henry Poggi, the fullback in there. Off the play action. Spate didn't feel the pressure. Able to get rid of it and it's caught by Poggi. The fullback comes back to the quarterback to make the grab. He's going to come right here and this is, it shows you how big Wilton Spade is. Six foot six and he has the strength and the awareness, Steve, to get rid of that football. It's one thing, you know, to to see where your number one receiver is, but when, when the pocket breaks down and you're in trouble, to know where your check down is and have the strength to get it to him. Then just special teams, well, you can see why. A couple of block punts in the first four minutes of this game. Here's Spate airing it out. Wide open is Darbo. Touchdown. Michigan making it look easy. 55 yards for the score. Yeah, they Man to man on the outside, the safeties don't play a role, and it's a good patient route from Darbo. And the one thing we didn't see from Spate really was him throwing the ball successfully down the field in the opener against Hawaii. He had one deep ball and he underthrew it, didn't throw it to the spot he needed to. Today he overshoots the first throw, but three in a row where he's just put it right on the money, and his receivers doing a great job of getting deep separation from the cornerbacks in one on one coverage. And risk of injury. Spate. Plenty of touch on that football. Jake Butt brings it down. Second touchdown catch of the day for Butt, the tight end. Take two hitches and wait for Butt to come open. Uh, that's, that's the perfect situation for a quarterback. It's good living right there. But I'll say this, he's hitting spots now. That's the difference, not just throwing it into an area. He's hitting spots and help Butt get to the right spot in, the, in that end zone so that he had the defender on his back deflected traveled past the line of scrimmage but we can say four block special teams kicks Shane Morris also got in last week and Spate doesn't just come out and hand it off he comes out firing and hook it up with Jake Butt right away Mark Rucker knocked him out you need to see these guys perform in the game and Will and Spate's been up to the task play action Spate dump it off nicely to Butt again and it's a big gain be that big and to be able to run that fast that's an athlete on third and six Spade has an intended target and plenty of running room it's Amara Darbo They're up 44 14 good pickup of the blitz Spade on the move throws across his body and Butt can't haul that one in and I'll bring up a fourth down and but I'm gonna stop asking you about Spate okay about him still being in the game okay. I'm done no offense able to digest a lot from a football standpoint. Oh, Spate, good play to get rid of it.